Well, good morning, everybody. We're back in the shop today because it is raining outside. We're supposed to get like two inches of rain in the next couple days. So we decided, since we're waiting on parts for the 621, we'd go ahead and we would reseal the curl cylinder for the loader. So Scooter and I have started this project, decided we should start a video on it. So what we need to do is we need to get that end pin out and we need to get the end of this cylinder. We need to get the gland out so that we can slide the ram out, get to the piston, reseal the gland, reseal the piston, and put it back together. So we're gonna get started by uh, getting the pin out. Uh, we didn't wanna back the service truck in with the crane just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hold up that ram with the air jack and uh, get the pin out and then we'll drop it down and the ram will actually sit in the Z bar while we get the uh, rest of it tore apart. And then we'll bring the service truck crane in, pick the ram, piston, and gland out all at once. Put a little air to our, you wanna hold that block a little straighter? Go gently. So this is a Bevor air jack that they sent me to try out. It's not going to take much. Right there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to get my leg out there just in case. Yeah, get your leg out. Once you get that pin slide up, slid out, hand it to me and I'll take it. Yes. There we go. Pin's out. Yep. Okay, we got the pin out. Now we'll move on to uh, taking that ram out. So the jack works really good. They sent me that jack to try out. We're gonna do another video on it, but uh, they sent it to me to try. And so far we've picked up the feed grinder and stuff here in the shop with it just for fun after I put it together. But it kind of works nice for deals like this where you just need a little bit of assistance gently to get something apart. So, okay, next thing is take that in gland out. So we do have a short steel hydraulic line that we got to take off. Scooter's taking that off because that's plumbed right into that end gland. Uh, that box right there by his hands is actually the valve that runs the grapples. Uh, we had to set this up um, with a, basically it's a multiplying valve for like if you need an extra set of remotes on your tractor, uh, we use that same valve to plumb this up. So what it does is when you uh, squeeze the button in the cab, it diverts the oil from the curl cylinder to the grapples to close the grapples. Uh, because this machine originally didn't have auxiliary hydraulics on it. And to put auxiliary hydraulics on it is gonna be about twelve to $13,000 if we could find the parts to do it with. So for about 1500 bucks, we set it up with this valve, made all the appropriate plumbing for it, and it's worked great. A um, couple of my friends have also set up loaders the same way since seeing us do this on this one, and they love it. Now, Scooter's going to take all them bolts out of the gland. Oh, can you get yourself put the bolts in? Now, historically, we haven't been able to uh, rebuild our own cylinders for the heavy equipment as far as the excavators because it takes so much torque to get the nuts off the ends of the rods. But these case cylinders are different. Uh, we will be able to tear this one apart ourselves and uh, change everything we need to change. But we are working on a way of being able to take the nuts off the ends of the rods on the excavators so we can do all those in-house. So when Scooter's not working on heavy equipment, Scooter's over at Scooter's World on YouTube working on small engines and lawn and garden equipment. So you should go over to Scooter's World and check out his channel. Right, Scooter? Yep. That was a tight one on it. Yeah, it was. 
I've got one more to go, so I don't know what's going to happen. Go ahead and take it out. It's not going to go anywhere. It can't. We've got it. It's supported by the, the 4x6 back there. And if it did drop down, it just dropped down here in the Z-bar. It's not going to go anywhere. And it's actually tipped back a little bit. So it's not going to just slide out. That's something you got to be cautious with taking these apart. Is these could potentially slide right out and uh, pinch you or hit you or something like that. So always use safety and pay attention to what you're doing at all times and all your surroundings. All right, Scooter, I think we're ready. We can, uh, let me go get a pry bar and we'll see if we can pry that out and uh, get it laid down. That is fastened farther back on the actual bore of the cylinder, so we're good there. All right, here's your bar. See if you can stick it in there. Work that land out. That should all be separate. I don't know. Maybe the one on the one side. And yeah, I'm bolting. I don't really have nowhere over here to. Well, you know, uh, I'm bolt that, get it out of the way. And then I'm going to take this line off. Or hit, hit here with a hand ring. Yeah, you got one. We'll go get you one. Back there on the uh, ground. Right. The hammer and flare was beating on everything in the shop with. You just get a crack opened up in it. pan underneath catching the oil. Oh, where my foot? Oh no. Keep going. It's going to drop down again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it dropped. Oh, oh, you can tell it conceals it out. There's no resistance at all in there. All right. So now we can get this ram down out of here. Get us a seal kit and some lunch. And then we work on putting it together. Okay, so we decided we're just gonna we just made us a little jib out of a old disc axle for the cherry picker. Let me go up a hair. Um, I think we're pretty. Yeah, it's sticking out right now. Okay. We'll pull it out. About half inch left. Keep going. I like that the strap slid over. You know all the weight's gonna be here. I want to loosen it up. Yeah. Because it's literally just hanging right here. Okay, slide your strap. Let it stay in the floor. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Floor up. Hold. Keep going. Careful. Careful. Uh, okay. Put your bar. You still got to put your pry bar through that eye. Okay, so we got it off, got it on the welding table. Now we need to get this apart. It should unhook out of there, like so. 
And then that pin slides out. And now, we should be able to just, I think, yeah, it's, yeah, turning off. it's turning off. That was pretty easy. Get ready to catch it. Oh, I got it. There we go. Now, we need to hold this up. Scooter, how can we, we throw, we got a two by four we can throw into that ram. Or oh, just lay it on the rags. This side of the table here. All right, so there's where our leak's at. So we'll have to get our new seals from Case. And we'll clean that up and we'll reseal it. But it's time to go to lunch now. So as soon as we get some lunch, we'll come back and we'll rebuild it and put it back together. Well, we'll start pulling these seals out of the, the gland of the cylinder here. See what we can get out. I need my seal puller. They're in pretty bad shape. I mean, as you can see, it just kind of it's in there pretty good but as you can see they're just junk can't get hooked on the metal part there we go there's the wiper Lay that the way it came out. Now we'll try to get back in here and get this next one out. There's that one. See that one came out like that. Just like so. There's one more back in here. Get in there and turned. And that. Hmm. Well, you know what? Pocket piper. Problem is, it's so far in that gland that you can't get nothing hooked the way you want to. Huh? Let's try this pocket screwdriver. And... Hmm. Well. Now darn it. Some are more difficult than others. Just get under it. There. There. There we go. Okay, that one's out. That one goes behind that one. Now, there's a big flat ring in here. This is like a wear sleeve. Turn it. Collapse it. There. That one's out. Okay. Now, we can clean this up. There's one on the back side here, which is just an O-ring. 
and then a backing ring sits behind that. That's what actually that's what actually seals this gland into the tube of the cylinder. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. And we'll get our new seals and put back in. Well, we're gonna start putting our seals back in. So this one's kind of a little bit of a bear. I tried to use my uh, seal tools with it, but uh, it just wasn't very. Uh, Oh, there it went. Easier than I thought. Now, we can put our big band back in here. Actually, thunder outside right now. That one's in there. Now, where did I go? Oh, here they are. Misplaced my seals. Okay, let's see. All right, so I found my other seal. It's right here. Got it on my seal tool. Lay it in there. Just let it unroll. There we go. Then we're back in. Now we can put our wiper seal back in. And I'm actually going to take this out, lay it flat, so I can tap it in there. Go. Okay, I'll tap this one in here. seal in. Well, we, while we got in this position, we might as well put the uh, O-ring back on that seals it in a tube. These seals are always fun because you're afraid of stretching them, but they come back. Make sure it's not twisted. Don't look like it is. Oh, pocket driver. Thank you. I got Mercury from Harding's Heavy Equipment here, and he's giving me a hand on this. He's actually a good camera guy. I think I need to hire him. <laughs> okay, that one again. All right. That's done. So now we can move on to the piston itself. So something interesting, and I'll point it out while we had this apart, we noticed this, that it looks like somebody hit right here with a hammer, and the gland is the same way as the piston is. So I don't know if something was inside this tube at one time, inside this cylinder, and was getting beat around in there. It's just kind of strange, because there's no reason anybody would hit that with a hammer, I don't think. Let's get these out while it's laying here. Those are just backing rings. Make sure there's nothing in the groove. Put that ring in. Put the O ring in. And now, I get this other backing ring in. Might be a little tricky, but oh, went pretty easy. Now we can take this band off the outside. And we can take this one off. We can get under it. Hmm. Well, maybe. It's like getting a tire off a rim. Oh, there's that other one I was looking for. Get this one out of there. Put that one back in that ring, or groove. Not 
twisted. back in there it'll eventually go back in there get that back together we'll have to hold that as we go back in the tube but we'll make sure we lube it up real good okay now we can thread this back on our ram after putting a gland back on first of course well it's time to slide that gland back on grab it in the right direction. Oh boy. Ready? There it goes. A lot more resistance on it now. stick my hand in that eye. Ooh. Well, I like that though because now that tells me it's going to be sealed up. Well, we're ready to put the piston back on. That's pretty simple. Slide it back over the threads. Now, to figure out how this You know what, I'm just going to take that off till we're ready to shove it back in. You'll find a hole. Right, it's just ready to go a little farther. Okay, so there's the hole, but I went a little too far. Back it up a little bit. There we go. Now, let's get this back in there. Okay. Oop. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's go right there. back in there. There it goes. Snapped back in there. Okay. It's ready to go back on the loader. Put this back on where it belongs. We'll just have to help that go in a tube. It should be good. 
Well, we got it back up there. It's ready to, it's actually started. I had to zip tie that seal to keep it from falling out as we went in, but uh, I think we can go a little farther with it. Okay, Scooter, you want to grab the side cuts, cut that zip tie off? I'm pushing it in. It was going oh, back. pushing the zip tie off? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just don't right. put that zip tie going in the hole. It's not. And don't cut that seal. You cut that seal and, and we're going to have to take out the end of the woodshed. There's side cuts right there on the Where? Oh, where, 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 where I told you they were. No, you didn't tell me. I said right there on the tire are, is, is the side cuts. Well, now you did. Oh, tired. there you go. Just don't fall off the loader. You your safety harness on it? Yes, I do. You just can't see three points, three points of contact at all times. Okay. Should we loosen this line up a little more? It'll give us some more. That might help too. It's that last seal that's going to be the bear. Do a Vaseline it? I oiled it up. That's that one I had to stretch to get on. Grease that up? Yes. So it don't go Hold me if you want to look in. He's got the white grease. Oh, you got the white grease up there? It's, it's on I, the tire. I thought I told you I put that white grease on the tire behind you. No, you did. Well, it sounds good, anyways. My fault. I really didn't tell you, but. Typical. You're just supposed to know. Yeah, right. Oh, well, well, it's supposed, supposed to raise your mind. You should get that all the way around, liberally. A liberal amount. What they call it. Mm. That's what they call it these days. Yeah. How far do we got to go before we can get some more? We just. We don't want to go too far. We'll have to get it poked back out so we can get that uh, pin there. Might have to start the loader up and push it out a little. We'll figure something out. Did you get some rags? Oh, I see them on the tire. Yeah, I got the rags. I told you I did. About time. I told you that a little bit ago. Ready? Yep. Alright, you can stop, I think. Okay. Yeah, we'll just tap it the rest of the way with a hammer to get it closer. You want a hammer? Uh, I got one. Oh, you got I one? I tell you that. No, you didn't tell me that. Tap it on there. Gently. Just draw it in with the bolts. That'd be nice and straight then. Well, we're gonna go ahead and raise this cylinder back up with the air jack. Get it lined back up. Get the pin in. Watch your fingers. Ready? Yeah, we gotta pry that out so I'm gonna slip back in. Go grab a pry bar. Are you ready, Scooter? Uh, yeah. Get this air hose out of the way. Pin's nice and tapered, so. Problem is, what we're fighting now is the slack on the T bar. Put the bolt back in there. Pull our wires back up. 
car part still. But we do have all those parts on hand, so that'll be the next video putting those together. So we're gonna just end this video right here. Think it's a good stopping point, Scooter? I think it's a good stopping point, so thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one.